Hi everyone, uh, we're going to review a couple of trades taken on 7th of March using price action algo trading system. As you know, we have shown you how it works on different instruments and uh, stock indices and uh, derivatives of the NASDAQ in form of micro NASDAQ or TQQQ or also micro S&P and also their mini contracts at the which is 10 times higher than this i'm still trading uh, using micro s&p and also any options of stocks to show you a small accounts using exit strategy number one which is one target so we use our trading plan checklist and checked news and volatility and traders condition and there was no economic release on March 7 and only uh, geopolitical war related uh, news and the volatility was kind of high again on higher time frames and in pre-market it was showing an uptrend going up trying to pass these uh, previous resistance you could see this in uh, S&P was trying to has the previous uh, high and also in NASDAQ the same pattern but the volatility was very high on higher time frames and the expectation was if it breaks and it stay above here it goes up uh, when the market opened the first few candles went up it went down again and reached the lower end of channels and the buyers came back so we took uh, two trades here uh, in the long duration and in these two channel in these two trades the volatility was okay in the lower time frames just uh, need to be careful to enter at the right location uh, the speed was high so I and this went down and broke the trend line here so we tried to enter in this area but I missed to enter at the good entry point and because uh, I knew it's gonna go hard to test this uh, I kept it for a while and it shows shows some sellers coming back so we close it here first trade and the second one we uh, I took it here as an indication that here was showing an up peak that was, was trying to go back and the trend line at that moment uh, before updating was in this area so we expected this to go higher and test the higher of various one and break it and it didn't go up so I updated the trend line and it went back and without passing a stop loss hit the target of this bigger channel so two trades the entries are a little bit late so we give low score but in terms of high property trade area algorithm one two three we get all hundred here and we get hundred here but for overbought oversold we can give ourselves 50 or maybe zero even and this reward is uh, we can give it 50 a score here and entry signal we got it okay so 100 and 100 so we got discipline score 75 one was break even one reached the target uh, so no loss in the first uh, few entries so we are okay in terms of money management and this instead of exiting here I saw uh, the momentum is good and buyers are coming back so I trailed this one and closed it on at the upper area of the channel and after that the market tried to retest this and it couldn't and it fall down and it was beginning a big sell off the sellers came back and so here we broke the, the support here and it went down after breaking this the market completely went down and these two big candles that you see on the 60 minute chart and we see it on 10 minutes so in 30 minute market tanked completely 
and all of the gain was lost in Nasdaq and all of the uh, indices. So I took more trades here in the middle of this when this showed that the uh, seller came back very strongly and it showed sign of weakness and we entered here assuming that this is a downtrend now and it's, it's established downtrend so this was a movie from that i took the clip and it hit the target here so knowing that this rejected and it's it was going down i saw this channel the lower low this channel so we took a trade that i thought is accelerating because this one here shows our sellers came back so I thought it's gonna go with this channel down and accelerate and it didn't so I closed it manually with a small loss then I updated the channel up here and uh, so we are in this channel now slowly forming and going down so updated channel here and it went down very sharply so as soon as it broke here and the seller were strong because it was it sharply went from a lot of buyers to lots of sellers here and they couldn't also hold it so sellers came back and pushed the price down so this was a small loss this with big gain and let's watch the movie so here i was waiting for this channel to give pullback and it's going to break here this rejection of the level and the big train is downtrend so it was good opportunity to get a big, big runner so here seller came back we entered and we go faster it broke accelerate it, and hit the target okay hit the target here so this entry is break breakout entry which is advanced and we discuss it in cut advanced and you only enter when the momentum is very strong and it's the beginning of the trend, the first wave, and you don't want to lose it. So we didn't wait for pullback and confirmation was that the sellers are back strongly and this will break. And all upper time frame shows. So this upper shows um, in a big picture we have a rejection here and we have a wide range sideways channels that is very volatile going up and down and since since the rejection was confirmed and the sellers came back and the price went down and it was good time to enter to take the whole area so we took it from here to here all these two candles so i feel this uh, in terms of entry and area this is not applicable when it's very hot um the channel become narrow and this algo is not applicable when it's breakout for this one for this one was applicable but it's okay we put 100 daily loss we had one loss here but it's not consecutive because we had one small loss one big win one small loss and one big win so money management shows that is not three consecutive loss or big drop, daily drawdown. We are in profit already. Then the, after this, then the, we waited for pullback. It went up, and again we saw the sellers coming back here. And now we can update the trend line with this swing high. We can update the trend line properly uh, in the very uh, small entry time frame which is our normal range so we are in good oversold area 
aiming for for the middle channel and uh, so the target because entry was early and it's not here it's filled here again sell shorts few sell short constantly we constantly uh, went in the right direction of the train and two the scalps another sell short here but, but it sh didn't show a strong uh, drop so I manually closed with a small profit again one here with this channel at good entry the stop loss is here so it hit this target and a few more sell short and closing with close it with a small profit the channel is now in this area so we are in this area and the scalping so we recorded everything and Uh, since there was no more loss consecutive and I got tired after a while and I had to feel uh, the psychology of my mind after scalping is very difficult after a while you get tired so I took this trade and then put it in the uh, this was some of your performance metric I took 13 trades the win uh, percent profitable win rate is 77 percent average win to loss ratio is shown here average lose 26 average win uh, 20 dollars so 0.76 around one with their around 80 percent win and with to loss ratio around one profit factor is 2.45 and we got around 100 uh, five dollar something after commission uh, which is okay and everything seems fine since volatility was high I used wider channel two times and I adjusted my stop loss two times more 20 points and target also 20 points and then uh, this was more than uh, the time that the channel's uh, range was smaller but there is no major big loss the larger losing trade was $30 but the average is 26 so the larger winning trade is 51 and the average win is $20 when you have enough number of trades you can do uh, you can see equity curves and press uh, on multi charts to do Monte Carlo analysis of thousands of trades that you're gonna take with this system in future and it shows that it's overall going up or flat or going down and this is going up because it's it's a profitable trade uh, system that regardless of the um, uh, nature of trades essentially all these parameters considering uh, change slightly you're gonna get the same equity curves going up and down um, and the smaller drawdown is this way larger down basic equity curves all is shown here based on thousands of simulation and the reason it works because the win rate is high but we don't have as I mentioned in lessons of module 12 we don't have a lot of consecutive losers we have five winning in a row but we have only one losers and uh, then it's after one loss we have a few win and because we don't have two to or three consecutive loss we don't get the drawdown and we don't have a risk of ruin and that's the reason the system doesn't have risk of ruin and Mon Monte Carlo analysis shows that so this is for a small account uh, so with about thousand dollar based on um, broker some broker need you to have fifty dollars to be able to open one micro um, SMP or NASDAQ or YM or Russell and that's like AMP need fifty dollars during the trading session uh, IB need about thousands a thousand dollars so let's say your account is thousand dollars and by the end of the day you can make ten percent from this and uh, the down is negligible of course if you have consecutive loss and uh, the loss can be around 30 dollars then three loss become 
considerable loss, you you lose also hundred dollar. And uh, so you have that's reason we watch the number of consecutive loss and make sure in terms of money management uh, the performance of the trader is good and and perform properly. So this is important during session we check it before the session also we check that. And therefore money management is building in the trading plan within the uh, algo that makes money with money management and psychology elements uh, we will see how it works in every day and um, also share the results of some of the students who work on the other markets forex markets and e-currencies and doing well thank you very much and have a wonderful day